right? When I'm consulting for clients who are building their own homes, I hardly ever get to see it go from beginning, like planning stage, all the way through construction. And then I, I actually rarely get to meet my clients in person. So this is Chaz. Yep. Chaz, you built this house yourself, right? I tried. All right. You're going to run this blower dress right now. Uh, moment of truth. What do I do? Okay, so you to come over here, press set pressure, and then put 50 pascals. 311 would be one ACH 50. Okay. So let's see what we get. Go ahead and set, go, set, yeah. Oh, hang on. The trainer must open the fan. <laughs> oh, by the way, put your ranges, like I don't know why Retrotech doesn't do this. Retrotech, please take note. Uh, just print your ranges on there. Know what you're aiming for, blower door people. Okay, try that one more time. Set pressure. Mm -hmm. All right, so switching over into ACH 50. Time out, 1.5. Uh, let's pause this for a second. You said you've been, you did almost everything, but now you've got people coming along here and poking yeah. holes in you. Yeah, yeah, poking holes, and it's, it's a lot to keep up with. So, so always you want to help people find where the leaks are, pressure pan. This is called a flow box uh, from RetroTech. So we've got this vent right here. You see that? Yeah. Not what you want to see. Let's go over here. Basically zero is what you want to see. So that one happens to be the dehumidifier return. And so there's something wrong with that particular one. Now I can just send Chaz over there and be like, all right, this is what you're looking for. Go up and look at that specific thing. So quickly, I wanted to show you guys around what Chaz has done here, um, which is fantastic. First of all, he's got the same kitchen exhaust system that we do at our place. He rigged up a uh, passive damper though which is something that I talk about as far as makeup air. There's two kinds, active and passive. He made the passive system work. We'll probably test that at the end when it's fully functional. Garage, totally sealed off from the house. That's good. FYI, don't forget to put water in all the traps and the washer uh, in this case was like really giving us uh, some, some backdrafting of some sewage uh, smells. Um, so figure out how to do that. You're gonna need like a water bottle, which I didn't bring with me today. But here's one thing that's really cool. In each one of the bathrooms, Chaz has ducted the ERV exhaust inside of the shower, which is always the right place to go, and that's awesome. So there's your shower exhaust, but he also independently ducted the ERV supplies. So there is the supply of fresh air that has to sweep all the way across the room to get out and into the hallway. That's generally how you want to do it. So that you really freaking put it in the absolute furthest corner. I can't even get my... Um, my pressure pan in between that thing and the wall. So good job, Chaz. So in my opinion, because he's got a totally independently ducted ERV in addition to his heating and cooling system inside of a vented attic, and he had to seal all of that stuff, I'm kind of impressed that he was able to hit 1.5 uh, from here. And we've identified a bunch of places where he could fix things. Wow. So we'll keep on testing this, but good job. Appreciate it. How do you feel? I feel good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good. I expected better, but... I think we could. I bet you could get there if you want to get if you want to do this again. <laughs> All right, we might be back. <laughs>